Hello friends, this is Christy over at Crafty Christy's Creations and today I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to make an SVG file into a coloring page just in time for some non-screen summer activities. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've got two different ways to show you how to do this. The first one is with this uh, Myrmicorn design. The first thing I'm going to do is change my media size to uh, letter because that is the size of the printer and then we can print it as a full sheet or you could do multiples on one page. I'm going to go ahead and print it as a full sheet. So I'm just going to grab the entire design, control A, and then I'm just going to hold down shift and alt or option on a Mac and I'm going to resize and let go of my mouse before I let go of the rest of the keys get that to fit and that is a little too big so again shift and alt and I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller so it fits on the page that's better okay with this design you can see it's already got this black outline which is what we're going to use and the rest of it we can get rid of so what we can do is just grab each of these layers and we can just hit delete or you can grab this black one, pull that off and then you can come back through here and just delete everything else. Sometimes that's easier. I'm just going to grab these little hooves. Um, I'm going to leave the words. I think that those would be fun to color that in as well. So I'm going to try to just grab everything, leave the word, and then I can pull this back in. And I think that's about right. And then with the words, you can grab that. Um, what you'll have to do with this is you're going to have to um, have no fill. And then we're going to give it a black outline. And you need to make sure your outline has a point value so that it'll show up. So you can see now it's just going to have the outline so you can fill that in. You can thicken up that line by hitting this arrow, make it a little bit thicker to um, look similar to what's here. So I'm at two points. And then the Myrmicorn, I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to uh, delete the fill give it that black stroke and I'm going to turn that up to two points. There we go. Oh, and that one went a little too far. Let's take it back down to two. There we go. Okay. So now what you need to do is you just need to come up to the print and send this to your printer and then you've got a coloring page. And now let me show you a different style of SVG. So this one here, again, the first thing I'm going to do is change my media size to letter. Again, because that is my printer size. I'm going to get this situated on the page. We can make this a little bit bigger. And I have to tell you, these mandalas, um, don't bother giving these to the kids. These ones are fun for you to just kind of de-stress. Maybe if you're um, going for a long car ride, um, or if you're on a, going on a flight, you might want to print a few of these off for yourself. So again, I'm just going to delete the fill so now it looks like there's nothing on the page. And then the stroke value, we're going to turn black. And if you want that thicker stroke, you can go ahead and up the uh, line point here. And that looks pretty good there. And then you can just click off. And then what you would color, you know, now you've got the option, you can color in these little pieces here. And you can also kind of color in all of the extra parts too that when it was just a regular SVG that were white. Um, so that gives you a little more options, uh, you know, for your creativity. So that is two different ways you can take any SVG file and turn it into a coloring page. 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video on turning SVGs into coloring pages, you're going to love the rest of the stuff that's on my page. So make sure you click that subscribe button down there so you don't miss out on any future Silhouette Studio tutorials. Until next time, with love, Crafty Christy.